Hi, in this short clip, we'll have a brief look at the two ways you can calculate the cost of equity in your second year of studies. There's other ways as well, which we'll only deal with next year. So the first one is the capital asset pricing model, or CAPIM. The second one is the dividend growth model, or the Gordon growth model. So depending on the information that you get, you can use either of these two methods to calculate the cost of equity, KE in this case. And the cost of equity is what you'll use in the calculation of your WAC, your weighted average cost of capital. So let's look at the CAPM first. So you'll see the formula is the risk-free rate plus the beta times the market rate minus the risk-free rate. To simplify it, you'll see it's the risk-free rate plus beta multiplied by the market premium. So when you hear the word market premium, what it means is it's the excess of the market rate over the risk-free rate. So the market rate will always be higher than the risk-free rate. So it's just the difference between the two. That's called the market premium. So we multiply the market premium by the beta for the company and we add it to the risk-free rate to get to the cost of equity. So what are these? The risk-free rate is usually the government bond rate. The government is the least likely to go bankrupt, so it will have the lowest rate. Remember, the rate or the required rate or the discount rate is always the risk rate or risk appropriate rate. So because the government is the least likely to go bankrupt, the risk-free rate will be the government bond rate. And it will be the lowest. So then the market rate would be the average required return on all equities listed in South Africa. So the market premium would be the market rate less the government bond rate. Then the beta is a number close to 1, so either slightly more than 1, slightly lower than 1, which is basically just a regression, normal regression, of the company's share price versus the market. So if the market in the past, say, 5 years, moved by, uh, or increased by 10%, and the company increased by, or, and the beta of the company is 1.2, the company's share price would increase by 12%. If the beta is 0 0.8 and the market moves by 1%, the company would move by 0.8%. So the beta is just a regression of how the company's share price moves relative to the market. So you can see the CAPM then is the risk-free rate plus the market premium but multiplied by the beta of the company. And that will give you the cost of equity for the specific company. So also you can see then if the beta is 1, it means the company share price move in direct correlation to the market. So the cost of equity for that specific company would be the market rate on equities. It will be the same for the average of all the equities. So you can do some, some uh, calculations on questions in your book using the capital asset pricing model. Now if you don't get this information in a test, but you do get dividends and share prices and the growth rate of the dividends or the earnings, you can calculate the cost of cap uh, capital or the cost of equity using the Gordon growth model. So usually you'll see the current dividend. So they'll give you the current dividend which will be represented by dividend 0 or D0. So let's assume that was 5 Rand. And let's assume the growth rate is 10%. So earnings and dividends are expected to grow by 10%. So next year's dividend, if the current dividend is 5 Rand, would be 5 plus 10%, so times 1.1. So 5 Rand 50. So that's dividend 1, or dividend a year from now. Let's assume the current share price is 80 Rand today. So it's the current share price, next year's dividend, and then we add the growth rate. So let's see what the cost of equity is. So it's 
dividend 1 divided by price 0 plus 10% growth rate. So our cost of equity is 17%, or 16.88. So we've got the capital asset pricing model and the corn growth model. The cost of equity ideally should be the same using both methods, but because there's a lot of assumptions that we make along the way, they could uh, be slightly different.